Well, hello everyone and welcome to another edition of The Pulse. And this week, we have a special guest in the studio, ladies and gentlemen, it is Police Director Michael Rawlins. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, how are you, starting? I'm great. You know, public safety is just that. You know, the, the public is the key. And uh, what I'm expecting Memphians to do, one, mm -hmm. is to step up, like I've asked over and over again, uh, because, you know, we have a, uh, a culture that uh, is, you know, has some type of love affair with violence. Mm -hmm. And we have to change that culture. But the citizens need to think about what type of police department do you want? Yeah. Um, what level of police services uh, are you willing to support? Because at the end of the day, uh, the citizens have to support the police department. Yeah. You know, we are here for the citizens, and we have to have a serious conversation about our community and the way we want to move forward. And, and talk about, you know, what does Memphis look like 5, 10, 15 years from mm, now? Serious topic. And what do we have to do to put that in place? I mean, you guys put your lives on the line every day. Yes. I mean, you go, you're the ones we call. If somebody breaks in my house, who am I going to call? If somebody uh, attacks me or if somebody tries to, you know, whatever, rob somebody, shoot somebody, whatever, first person they're going to call is MPD. That's correct. And, and, and here's something else. You know, in 2015, we answered over 1 million calls for service. Uh, I think, you know, when you talk about um, call centers, and there's an acronym for it I can't recall, but, but we're like the fourth busiest call center in the nation wow. by sheer volume of calls. And a lot of people forget that, and I tell people that we answered over a million calls with 400 less officers. Uh, so, you know, although we, we aren't where we'd like to be, mm -hmm. you know, we are still delivering a high volume of police services and quality police services given the, the manpower restraints that we have. 34. And you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the 34 homicides. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Uh, whether they were line. here, whether this year, whether they were last year, not still 34. And... Waking up to that, I mean, because for me as a citizen, waking up on a daily basis and hearing, oh my goodness, we've made it to 30. Oh my goodness, we've made it to 30. Oh my goodness, we're at 33. Oh my goodness, we're at 34. It's daunting. Um, but you guys aren't doing it. It's happening with citizens. A lot of these um, shootings, I understand, at least 20 of them, they knew each other. Yeah. But. We want, we look at you to fix it. Well, you know what, what, this is what I can tell you is that our homicide detectives have not stopped working. Uh, often they haven't had a chance to go home. Uh, if you think about, uh, and it's actually 35, of the 35, um, 24 of those are solved, meaning that, you know, we've identified the individual, you know, or, or we made an arrest. Wait a show, that's what I'm we, talking about. We've issued a warrant, and, uh, you know, I want to compliment uh, our new uh, Investigative Services Chief, Deputy Chief Sharonda Hampton and her team of mm -hmm. Car Caroline Mason. Uh, All right and, now, and Sister Mason. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, our <laughs> homicide detective, Lieutenant Jeff Dickerson, and uh, that, that, that did the piece on uh, the, the homicides to kind of give you an inside look. Uh, but we've got some, some great folk down there working nonstop to solve these homicides. Yeah. Hey, thank you for coming by. I know you got a busy schedule, and thank you so much for coming by and talking to us. I appreciate you. Well, I Great look, conversation. I look yeah. forward to coming back and talking to you. Will you do that? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. And we'll, have, we'll talk more. And we'll talk about the positive stuff happening in Memphis. Everything in all sad. That's right. Even as it relates to the police department. It's a great city. We just want to make it better. Amen. 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 Interim Director Michael Rollins, thank you again. God bless you. Thank you, God for, bless you. Um, you know, um, you answered the call. You're the man, top cop. <laughs> and we'll be praying for you, definitely, that's for sure. Thank you, Sean. All right, it's The Pulse. We'll keep our fingertips on the pulse of our community. We'll see you next week, same time, same station. God bless you. Have a great week.